From the runway to the roadway, former supermodel Nikki Taylor has been traveling the country to promote a campaign to help America's struggling communities. The ex-cover girl is now a spokesperson for the Reader's Digest campaign, We Hear You, America. The magazine is giving out a total of $5 million to community projects around the nation, traveling to 100 cities in 100 days in its We Hear You, America RV. So Taylor is part of an effort to help local programs that cash-strapped municipalities can't afford nowadays. But this is far from her only cause. Soon after her sister Chrissy's death in 1995, she and her family took on the task of informing people about the risks of ARVD, the heart condition they believe killed Chrissy. You have such a nice demeanor and a great spirit, but you've gone through a lot. I remember I interviewed you back in the 90s, and your sister was there at the time, and this is before your sister's untimely death, which yeah. you and your family sort of made a mission to talk about what heart arrhythmias, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, we get our teeth checked, but we never get our heart checked out. Do you ever get over something like that, losing a sister? Never. No, I, you know, I was also in a car accident here in Atlanta, um, 10 years ago, and I said I would go through that car accident a hundred times just to have my sister back, but you, you never get over a death of a loved one. Yeah. How did your family deal with it? How did you deal with that? Ooh, time? not good. Really? Who does? Nobody, nobody deals good with it. Yeah. Um, it took, you know, a lot out on a lot of people, and everybody handled it in their own different ways, but I think you have to have a strong support system, yeah. you know, in place. But you made it through, and again, yeah. as I said, you made it. You made it your mission, and then um, the accident right here in Atlanta. Right here in Atlanta. Does this bring back memories being here? No, no, I love Atlanta. What happened? We hit a utility pole. Oh. Several times I flatlined, and they kept telling people that they needed to make arrangements to move my body. And um, but you know, God wasn't done with me yet, and um, lots of blood and lots of amazing doctors. The People's Choice Awards in January. You showed you wore down it showed your mm -hmm. scar from the accident yes. why did you choose to do that this was an all last minute thing and i did not have a dress <laughs> for this uh award show and um somebody had brought a couple dresses over and it was the only dress that really fit and felt comfortable and it was a donna karen and you always feel so nice and cozy and donna karen um, and this one was just a little low in the back and it, you you do see my scar and i've had two back uh, surgeries from my car accident and um, no I'm thankful for the scars oh my 